Throughout Warsaw, there are several of these benches carved of stone honoring Poland's favored musical composer. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we're going to take a late afternoon walking tour throughout Warsaw where we will listen to Frédéric Chopin in 30 second sound bites. It goes without saying, there is a large collection of artifacts and collectibles at the Frederick Chopin Museum in Warsaw. However, it is such a gorgeous afternoon, we're going to keep this tour outside. There are 17 of these benches throughout Warsaw, and this one is located in the Saxon Garden. The benches have been strategically placed as to where Frédéric Chopin would have spent significant time during his first 20 years of life in Poland. While Chopin was only in Poland for the first 20 years of his life, he had been recognized as a musical prodigy as early as eight years old. Only steps away, the next bench leads from the Saxon Garden to the Saxon Palace, or specifically where the Saxon Palace was. This expansive colonnade was where the Saxon Palace was located. As a young child, Frederick and his family lived here while his father was employed as a French language teacher. The entire palace was destroyed during the Second World War, except for this remaining piece. It is there where Poland's tomb of the unknown soldier lies. Battles on Polish territory date back over a millennium. It is the battles on Polish soil during the Second World War that has the greatest prominence on this tomb. it is appropriate that the tomb of the unknown soldier chosen from Chopin's vast collection was one of his more melancholy pieces. Darned if I can't find the bench located in Kazimierzowski Park. According to the, uh, the guide, it should be around here, but uh, can't seem to find it. However, what I have come across is this curious piece of artwork that is memorializing a significant component of Poland's history. Commemorating solidarity, the 1980 uprising against communism in Poland, in the park there is this artwork, a life-size game, 10 by 10, in perhaps the most anti-communist piece that could possibly be imagined, and that is Solidarity Monopoly. While there is some play on the inner square of this board, so not quite according to Monopoly rules, on the first corner, and I can pick out this Polish, it says 
arrest. And if arrest means jail in Polish, what I have noticed on this corner is that there is no just visiting as on a traditional Monopoly board. And uh, likely during the protests of solidarity and the anti-communist movement of 1980, somehow I think nobody would have just been just visiting jail cells. At the Warsaw Scientific Society, Chopin meets Poland's other favorite son, 15th century mathematician Nicholas Copernicus. The Scientific Society is located in the Marienstadt neighborhood of Warsaw. It was in the late 15th, maybe early 16th century when mathematician Copernicus calculated that it was the Earth that rotated around the Sun and not the sun which rotated around the earth. It was in this neighborhood where Chopin's sister saved his works for many years. However, following an attempted coup on the palace in 1863, in retaliation, Chopin's collection, including his piano, was destroyed by authorities. Sure, this is the Polish you want me to say. Anyway, Krakowski Permedmishi, it's a busy street. For a city that I had read had been destroyed following the Second World War in 1945, to walk down Krakowski Street offers a fantastic array of buildings and their architectural styles, ranging from medieval to Baroque, to contemporary, they are all, all in immaculate condition. These are the gates to the University of Warsaw. Little, little camera shy? Aw, I needed someone to hit the button. Chopin left for France in 1832 at the age of 21. Shortly thereafter, thousands of Polish academic and political elites left the country in what was the Great Emigration. Chopin's life in France was highly celebrated, although it was tragically cut short as he died from tuberculosis at the age of 39. For political reasons, Chopin was denied burial in Poland, and it wasn't until almost a century later when he was finally embedded, his heart anyway, into one of the pillars of Holy Cross Church. From in front of the Visitationist Church, this will conclude a tour of Warsaw and some of the 17 Frederick Chopin benches located throughout the city. And what a wonderfully and culturally and historically rich the Polish capital is, and what will turn out to be the last of my stories from Poland on Borders on Budgets. So thank you very much for tuning into this episode. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. From Warsaw, Poland, Thank you very much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Ooh, tunnel! It's a tunnel! Oh, how neat! Woo, woo! Is it only one tune, one melody from Chopin? We want to hear spring quotes, for example. There's only, there's only one song per bench. There are 17 throughout the city. There are several more located down Krakowski. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What a gorgeous summer's evening in Warsaw. Did you like this episode? Good. Help Borders on Budgets. Hit the subscribe button below. 
And don't forget to share this video with your music-loving friends.